This is practice A for section 3.6. In numbers 19 through 21, they tell you that in the diagram, you have some perpendicular lines. So what happens there is, when you have perpendicular lines, you're going to end up with right angles. So you're going to have two acute angles that make a right angle. And we have a theorem, theorem 310, that tells you if two sides of two adjacent acute angles are perpendicular, then the angles are complementary. And we know complementary means they add to 90. So this particular example these two angles add up to 90. So you need to write x plus 25 plus 25 equals 90. And then you solve for x. x is 40. Plug back in. 40 plus 25 gives you 65, and you know you're right because 65 and 25 make that 90. Now, this would have been a lot easier to figure out this 65 if you'd have just done 90 minus 25 from the beginning. But you lose the algebraic process that you're going to need to solve this next one because you don't know the measure of either of these angles. So you need the algebra to figure out what x is. And then once you have x, you can plug in x is 30. 2 times 30 is 60. Okay, so if you can do 20 and 21, 19 isn't that bad. Okay, the next one's a little bit tricky, and I've already kind of gone over this two or three times, but unfortunately the, there was issues with the video. So we know the answer's D, but how did you get there? Well, I'm going to show you. They show you you have two lines that are perpendicular going this way, and then you have a vertical and a horizontal that are perpendicular as well. So I'm going to redraw that diagram. There's your diagram. Now, the best way to figure out which two angles are complementary would be to maybe redraw the picture a few ways. And you can do that. And you're going to realize pretty quick that this is more complicated than a simple diagram is going to help you with. So the best way to really tackle this is maybe assign arbitrary angle measures to these angles and we'll see where that gets us. So this is angle one, this is angle two, this is angle three, angle four, and angle five. We'll start with angle one. Angle one is part of a 90 degree angle and it looks like it's the larger part of a 90 degree angle so maybe we'll call it, I don't know, I'll call it 55 degrees. Now, you know that its vertical angle down here is also 55 degrees. Angle 2, it's part of a, a right angle as well. And again, it's a, the much larger portion of it. So maybe we'll call this angle 80 degrees. Its vertical angle is also 80 degrees. Angle 3, we can already calculate its measure because angle 3 and the angle that's next to it make 90 degrees. So this would be 35 degrees. And then its vertical angle would be 35. We have one more angle to assign a number to, and that's angle 4. And we're not really assigning a value to it because angle 4 and angle 5 are complementary as well. So angle 4 is 20 degrees. Now at this point, assigning one or two arbitrary values here, you can calculate the rest of them. So now you can see the relationships that they have. Look at angle 2 and angle 4. Angle 2 and angle 4 add up to 90, 80 and 20. That's the only pair here that do that. Like if you look at angle 1 and angle 2, they don't add up to 90. If you look at angle 3 and angle 4, they don't add up to 90. 
neither do angle one and angle five. So that's how you end up with that answer. Assign arbitrary values. And this is a, a good strategy to solve a lot of problems. So keep that in mind. Just make up some numbers sometimes and see how, how that goes for you.